let's draw ourselves a picture of a neuron. And here's the scoop, you guys. I'm going to try, I don't know, this is totally what a neuron actually looks like. Just kidding. This is the cell body of the neuron, and here's my cell nucleus. And then you can see that we have a whole bunch of extensions. And I'm just going to make one little, okay, draw it like that. And then we'll label our parts. Can you imagine that these little whatever those are, like hairy whatever those things, like sunbeams that are coming out of my neuron, those are called dendrites. And, and dendrites are defined by the information direction that information travels. So dendrites receive information from the environment or from another cell and take it toward the nucleus or toward the cell body. This is my cell body. It's also called the soma, and you might see that as you are doing research for other things, so it's nice to know that. There's a place on the axon called, there's a place on the neuron called the axon hillock. Axon hillock. And that's the place where the cell body meets the next structure, which is the axon. I often, when I draw neurons, I often will just draw the axon as a line. And I'm not doing that today because I want to make sure that you recognize that this is actually, there's cytoplasm inside this thing. It's a cell. It's just a super long and interesting cell. The axon, information is going to travel away from the cell body in the axon, and it travels down to something called a synaptic knob. I'm running out of colors. How can I run out of colors? I've got like every color on the planet available to me. This is called a synaptic knob or an axon terminal or a bouton because that means button in French. And then you have an effector. So I'm just going to make my effector like a box and we'll write E vector. And the space, this is important because I think sometimes people, I don't know what people think, but this space is the synapse. So this is the space we must cross and electricity cannot cross this space. So this is where chemical neurotransmitters are dumped, and the neurotransmitters will cross the space and hook up to a, a receptor on the effector. So um, we're going to spend the majority of the day talking about the electricity or the message that gets sent down. Okay, you can't see that at all. I can't see it at all. But the electrical message that gets sent to the synaptic knob, and then um, tomorrow we'll talk about the chemical message that gets released into the synapse and passes the message on. Before we do anything else, we have to know, dude, I keep talking about this whole concept of an electrical message, but what is electricity? So let's spend some time actually talking about a definition of electricity.